In this video, we're going to be discussing MailChimp merge tags. The benefit of using merge tags with MailChimp is that you can set up a per membership merge tag that allows you to send users emails based on the merge tag that they have active in your MailChimp account. This is based off of the membership that they have in MemberPress. So if a user has an active subscription in MemberPress, they're added to a merge tag. And if they have an inactive subscription, they are removed from that tag. And all of this happens automatically once you get it set up. So you can imagine that this has a lot of power to it. And I'm going to show you how you can set this up. It's really easy. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is create that merge tag. Remember that with MailChimp, you have lists and merge tags. MemberPress only allows you to set up one list, but as many merge tags as you need to have for your memberships. So, it, as we discussed in the previous video, I created a single merge tag for my general global contact, right? And I called that merge tag members. And so it was kind of a catch-all for all of my uh, users. However, if I want to set up a per membership merge tag, I come to the same place. So here in settings and then merge tags. And then I'm going to click add a field. Remember, it has to be a text field type. And then when that's done loading, I'll be able to create the merge tag that I want. In this case, I'm creating a merge tag for my bronze members. So I'm going to give this a name like bronze so that I can know who is subscribed to this based on the memberships that I have in my membership site. Now remember, you do not want to set these to be required or visible. So I'm going to uncheck that and then click Save Changes. Now with this merge tag created, I will be able to add this to a, a membership on my site so that when users subscribe to it, they're added to that merge tag. So if you come in here to your WordPress dashboard and then go to MemberPress and Memberships, I'll show you where you can add those. So again, this is for my bronze membership that I was talking about earlier. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then with the MemberPress member MailChimp add-on installed, you'll come into your Membership Options, Advanced tab, and select this option here, MailChimp Merge Tag for this membership. This will reveal um, this option here where you can select from your merge tags which one you want to associate with this membership. In this case, I'm going to associate it with the bronze one and then I'm going to go ahead and click update. Now I'm going to go through a test sign up so that you can see what this will look like when a user signs up. So of course I'm here in uh, on my site in an in incognito window since I'm already logged in admin and I'll go ahead and fill out this information here for this test user. Okay so I went ahead and filled out that information here with this um, test user and I'm going to click sign up and then of course pay with my test credentials and click submit to pay for this and again this is all just in uh, test mode with my stripe gateway but same thing would apply with any gateway you use okay so I purchased that let me close out of this and if I come in here to my subscriptions tab you'll be able to see that here is that test user that I just created and they have an active membership. So that means that in MailChimp, this user is going to have an active merge tag for the merge tag that I just created, meaning that I can send emails through that then. So the way that you can see this is if you come into your, your list here, then I can see this new user that I just added with this um, test email. As you can see here, here is my previous test. And I, in addition to being on the members list, I have a tag here, an active tag here, and I am active as well for this bronze tag. Now, if you only want the user to be added to your uh, per membership merge tag and not the global merge tag, then you're going to want to come into your member press options and then go to your marketing tab and click, in, click the disable global autoresponder lists. And that'll make it so the user is only added to your one merge tag. Now let's jump back to, member, or to MailChimp, and I'll show you how you can send emails to these users through MailChimp. OK, 
okay? So what you need to do is create a segment. And what the segment allows you to do is create basically the parameters that you want to say who gets what email, okay? So in this case, I want to send users. I only want to send emails to my users who have an active subscription to the bronze membership. So if that's the case, then I'm going to select the merge field bronze here that I just created and then is active. So that's going to mean that it's going to look for anyone who has an active tag um, to that merge tag and then they'll get this this email. Of course click preview segment and these are the users who are going to be on that segment. Now if you have other users of course they will show up here um, and then I can click save as segment and give it a name and then I'll click save. You're going to probably want to leave auto update enabled. You can learn what it does here but basically it just means that your list will auto update each time before a segment is sent out and so that's usually important so you're going to probably want to have that enabled and then click save. Okay so with the segment created you can then create a campaign to send out an email. So let's say I wanted to send a campaign out to this segment. Well, then I would come in here to campaigns, click create a campaign. In this case, I want it to be an email and I'm going to name it bronze users and click begin. And then go through the process here. Start by clicking add recipients. And so in this case, I want it to be my members who are a part of my bronze subscribers or well yeah so I want bronze subscribers because that's the segment that I created earlier and I can personalize the to field and that'll just auto populate with uh, whatever you choose here in this case let's say I want it to be first name click save there who you're sending this from So let me update this real quick. You can add a subject if you want. And then of course you can design your email. Now I'm just going to click some you know, random template here and then finish this process. But you know that you can go through this and design your email how you want it to be. I hope you don't need me to explain that for you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it pretty simple for this. Save and close, save and close. All right, I guess I didn't edit enough. Let me edit some more. Okay, so it looks like they accepted my email uh, that I created there. Super simple, but that's as good as it's going to get for this. And I'm going to go ahead and click send. And of course, MailChimp is going to ask you if you're sure you want to send this. And I sure do. So there we go. And let me show you what that email will look like. All right, so here is that email as it appears me from MailChimp and that's it. Setting up merge tags is as simple as that. Just remember this is a really powerful tool of MemberPress. It allows you to be able to send users emails based on if they have an active subscription on your site or not. So let's say that in my subscriptions here that this user's subscription became inactive meaning that they hadn't paid for paid for the subscription past April 5th, 2018. In that case, their merge tag and MailChimp would become inactive and all future emails would not be sent to them. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support. Thanks.